every day I went to work, it was a high for me. So I wrote my story. It's a simple story. It's a story about doing what you love. I wrote it at first for students studying television, but it's really a story that is for anyone at any age because it's never too early or too late to tune in to the one thing that you love, the one thing you do really well and make a career out of it. Good afternoon, Vera Bradley Retail Partners. My name, like Barbara said, is Sally Lou Loveman and I am the Director of Audience Services for Harpo Studios. Welcome back to the World Culinary Showcase featuring some of the biggest and brightest chefs in the business. Are you all ready for some fun? Are you having fun? We're excited to be here and we love a full house. I'm Sally Lou Loveman, host of today's World Culinary Showcase, sponsored by Vitamix! Your chef. Wow. So scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> Tune in. Take a risk. When one door closes, another opens. Recognize your destiny. Serve and protect. Be in the moment. Do what you love. Teamwork, community, and connection. I loved being in a television studio. I love the sounds, I love the smells, I loved the crew. And I quickly learned that when an environment sucks you in and pleases all five of your senses, to make a career out of it. What I know for sure is that when I stood in front of 13,000 people on the stage at the United Center in Chicago, about to do the audience warm up for one of Oprah Winfrey's final shows, I knew the only reason why I was standing there in that moment was because my mother had taken me to the Mike Douglas show when I was 14. <laughs> I'm glad some of you know what that show is because when I talk to students, I have to explain. In 1976, at the Mike Douglas show, I spotted the girl with the clipboard. I did not know what she did, but she was a woman. She was in the studio. She had a clipboard, a headset. She looked busy, and I wanted to be her. Oprah took her show national in 1986 and I applied for the job as audience coordinator. I interviewed with the executive producer and with Oprah. Oprah liked me and I liked her. She also liked my suit, navy suit with a tunic and big shoulder pads and a skirt and a belt and I thought it was very cool and edgy. I would never <laughs> give up my Oprah suit. And ladies, let me tell you, I did not get the job. One year later, that closed door reopened for me. They remembered me, and I got a call at the PBS station, and they hired me literally on the phone, on the spot. I was going to be Oprah's audience coordinator, and my clipboard dreams were coming true. No now, I know you're all here with your colleagues, the people that are committed to this great partnership here. And if you don't know the people next to you, take this time to connect and introduce yourselves. <laughs> This is the Vera Bradley experience right here. At its core, love and friendship. Tom Cruise came to the studio to promote his film, Days of Thunder. He had just announced that he was dating Nicole Kidman. But for 20 minutes, Tom Cruise was mine. <laughs> and he asked me for a tour of the new studio. I, of course, said yes. We walked the space, just the two of us. There was no security, there was no entourage. It was just me and Tom Cruise. And ladies, I took my time. <laughs> he touched the small of my back two times. <laughs> Tom Cruise's charm is intoxicating and in that moment, I was Mrs. Cruise. And I just drank in his Hollywood charm. Then in 1999, I was pregnant with my son and I was called to work the green room for Whitney Houston. Everyone at Harpo knew that I was a huge fan of Whitney Houston. So I spent the day with Whitney and her mom, Sissy. And at the end of the day, Whitney placed her beautiful hands and pressed her Grammy Award winning voice on my big belly. And she sang, bless you, baby. Success is always best when it's shared which is why teamwork is one of my favorite love plan essentials. Our motto is teamwork makes the dream work. And when we looked at the 13,000 people who filled each and every seat at the United Center for our two final shows, we felt that success together and we did it in 10 days. I would never have success without my team. 
Last October, I arrived at work in literally a pair of jeans, and midday I found out that at 5 p.m. I would be announcing Michelle Obama at a donor event held at Harpo Studios. In less than one hour, I had my nails done, hair done, new outfit, and at 5 p.m. as I stood backstage next to the magnificent Michelle Obama and spoke these words, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the first lady of the United States, Michelle Obama. I literally thought, who gets days like this at work? And one day, I left my office to simply go to the bathroom. Sitting quietly in the reception area, waiting for a meeting with Miss Winfrey was Ely Wiesel, survivor of the Holocaust. He greeted me with a warm smile, a handshake, and I can't even explain to you how I felt. The power of his strength, the power of his character, and the power of his heart literally melted me. There is no bigger moment that I've ever had at Harpo Studios than my moment with Ely Wiesel. It will stay on my heart forever. So whatever your clipboard is, ladies, go out and get it if you haven't gotten it already. So make your own love plan. Start by doing what it is that you love. Do what you're good at and what makes you feel good. It could be the smallest thing that you could make a career or volunteer career out of. Use the gifts that you've been blessed with. Maybe you're super detailed and you love your label maker. You could be a professional organizer. I promise you that love speaks. All you have to do is listen. Listen to the inner voice that tells you what it is that you do well and what you love. 25 years later, I still love what I do and I'm reminded by the photo of me at the beginning of my career, notice the typewriter, and the current photo of me today. I'm beaming with love and excitement in both photos, and my wish is for all of you to be able to share that same story and celebrate what it is that you love, your story. I have a feeling that today is your day, because you're with us at Harpo Studios, home.